TR20 is a 21,500 foot-pound torque rig utilized in the foundation industry and the utility industry. Some of the differences about uh, what Bayshore offers to the utility industry is ease of use. And one of the ways we do that is with our controls that we have that operate your rotations, that operate your up and down, basically the full functions of the drill rig. What that allows us to do is have multiple people in the seats. By using these simple controls that were designed by drillers themselves, the utility companies can put several different people through the seats and they all can pick the rig up very quickly. Yeah, it's a lot easier to use. You can use two, three, four, five functions at a time. The multi-function controls are, are, are handy being able to do without having to lean and reach across your body for a joint. The old school controls that we're used to, lever action, if you will, where everything is a little bit more ergonomical. Being able to do multiple functions just by moving your fingers is very, very handy. Other things that we've done to uh, service the utility industry is we've come in with a shorter mast. This particular rig we're with today has a 22 foot tall mast and can crowd down under 18 feet. Having the mast being able to entirely crowd down to the ground, it allows you to be able to start a, a straighter hole, basically a pilot hole. If you can get those first two, three feet straight down the hole, you can just really come in and out of the hole quickly, allowing you to be more efficient when you're drilling and get more holes drilled in a day. Well, when you're working in the city and you're around, you know, a lot of the old infrastructure, you got short poles, 40 foot poles, you know, they got primary, they got secondary, they got telco, and a lot of times it's only 18, 19 feet off the ground is what you're trying to work around. In tight areas, you know, you can't swing around the boom and get underneath it sometimes. The mass height and, and dealing with what we deal with is very important. Um, being in the city in some of the older areas where some of these power poles are very low, means your telecommunications is lower and to be able to fight around it and get underneath it and not having to deal with it is, is very handy, very helpful. And still being able to get a good drill depth, I mean, and being able to crowd down and maintain that uniform straight hole is very key. That way you're not maybe having to dig against utilities that are right next to it and it allows you to stay steadier and not have to worry about drill wobble or cutty bar flex. We don't have a deck engine, we're 100% PTO run. So what does that do? One thing it does for safety is it gives you a line of vision almost 360 degrees around the rig, which allows you to see what's going on. There can be multiple people on these job sites and oftentimes you can't see them because they're bouncing around the rig trying to do their job. By not having a deck engine, it eliminates that and gives you that better field of vision. It also lowers the decibel levels that uh, when you're around the rig, so basically we could crank this rig up right now and stand here and have a conversation uh, without having to yell or scream over it. When there is a time of danger and someone's yelling from the other side of the rig or across the job site, it's going to allow you to be able to hear them and shut this rig down. Yeah, you got a lot more vision just around. You can see when you're swinging. Uh, you can see the hole pretty good, the way you're sitting, the way you're positioned. Yeah, this is a lot quieter. Even when the fan kicks on for the hydraulics, it's a little lot quieter than the tech zones when you're right there next to the auxiliary engine. When sitting up in the operator uh, seat, I have noticed that with the power plant not being on the actual table itself, the visu visibility around the machine is good. Um, seeing with the boom, not a problem. Being down and looking down in the drill hole, I had no issues with it. Uh, the noise of the machine is very quiet. I mean, of course there's gonna be noise, but from other machines that I've operated and having the power plant close to you, this is quite a bit less. Nice to be able to talk to people around you and on the ground in case of an emergency. Uh, we also don't have a Kelly winch on this particular rig. By eliminating the Kelly winch, it eliminates a lot of the issues that you have with bird nesting. So we've eliminated that with this rig, making it easier for utility companies to operate. 